Hello everyone and welcome to the Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms LP Faction Vote. We know that it's going to be a Crusades campaign, but now it's time for you to choose which faction I will use. First of all we have the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Kingdom of Jerusalem is one of the two Catholic Crusader factions. It starts with the key city of Jerusalem and a number of castles and towns in the area, such as Tyre and Kirak. To the south of the Egyptians who will prove to be the Kingdom of Jerusalem's greatest enemy. To the east there are the rebel settlements of Homs, Damascus and Baalbek, and to the north the Principality of Antioch. The Kingdom of Jerusalem's military power is centred around heavy cavalry such as the Constable of Jerusalem, Knights of Jerusalem, they also have good infantry and access to mercenaries from the ports. Like the Principality of Antioch, the Kingdom of Jerusalem lacked the mounted archers and missile units in general that the Islamic factions have. They also make use of the Knights Templar religious order, giving them access to unique units. Next up, the Principality of Antioch. The Principality of Antioch is the second of the two Catholic Crusader factions. They start with the large and wealthy city of Antioch and the famous fortress of Crac de Chevalier in what is now modern day Syria and Turkey. To the east and north are the Turks and to the south of course is the Kingdom of Jerusalem. There is also room to expand east to Aleppo and Edessa. To the north, Adana, and to the south to Baalbek and Homs, all of which are rebel factions. Most of the Principality's campaign will be spent fighting the Turks or the Kingdom of Jerusalem if the alliance is broken. The Principality of Antioch utilise excellent infantry, such as foot knights, but they do lack missile cavalry, which will leave them at a disadvantage against the Islamic factions. Next up, Egypt. Egypt is an Islamic faction. Fortunately for the Egyptians, none of their neighbours are bearing down upon their lands. In fact, expanding in any direction shouldn't prove a problem. Though the problems facing the Egyptians close to home are anything a decisive ruler can't deal with, any Egyptian forays into the Holy Lands will no doubt be subject to Catholic invasion from across the Mediterranean. Regular military pilgrimages by European Christians to Jerusalem seem an inevitability, as do counterattacks from other Muslim powers, such as the Turks. Expand and consolidate quickly as the Egyptians, and the world could be your oyster. Egypt's power is based around its cavalry, with cavalry units of all types, they are comparable even with the Mongols. Its infantry, however, is rather mediocre, and they start out with the Cairo region, Alexandria and Gaza. The Turks The Turks are a Muslim faction that represents the Seljuk Turks and later on the Ottoman Turks. They have outstanding mounted archers and Janissary troops, though they lack heavy armour and early period infantry. The Turks may be relative newcomers to both Anatolia and the Holy Lands, but the impact they have had upon these realms since they migrated from the steppes east to the Caspian has been profound enough to shake the pillars of the oldest and mightiest neighbouring dynasties. Having seized control of the Abbasid Caliphate from the Buyids and utterly crushed the Byzantines at Manzikert, the Turks have restored unity to the eastern Islamic region, making them arguably the greatest power Arabia or Persia has seen for centuries. And finally, the Byzantine Empire. Byzantium is a shadow that remains of the old Roman Empire. Their reverence to the old ways has brought the empire to a point of stagnation in a world that has gradually kept moving on. Despite boasting the world's trade capital and home of Orthodox Christianity in Constantinople, the Byzantine Empire is well past its zenith and is now in a steady decline. The outer regions of the empire have been slipping from the emperor's grasp for decades. 
to the west, the Normans have taken southern Italy, and in the east the Turks have moved into Asia Minor after their decisive and terrible victory at Manzikert. If the Byzantine Empire is to once again become the dominant power of East, then it will first need to reclaim its heartlands wholly before encroaching upon the borders of another power. The Byzantine legacy is long and predominantly proud, but unless the Emperor can turn things around, it's a legacy that will soon end. It starts off with four provinces under its control, with castles at its capital in Constantinople and Corinth, and the large towns of Nicaea and Thessalonica. And the early Byzantine forces consist mainly of Byzantine spearmen and Trebizond archers. These are supplemented by a set of highly effective cavalry units, including the Byzantine cavalry, Vardariate, and Scythicon. Throughout the campaign, it will be the Byzantine cavalry and missile troops that will be crucial to success in battle. So there you have it. That is the list of factions that you can pick for me to use in the upcoming LP, which is due to start on April the 13th. So get voting. Kingdom of Jerusalem. Principality of Antioch. The Egyptians, the Turks, or the Byzantines. The choice is entirely yours. And as before, to vote, just simply vote up the faction that you want to see me use. Voting ends 31st of March at midnight. So until next time, I shall see you soon.